Do you want to build some cool websites and impress your friends? Do you want to make your career as a full stack developer? Do you want to make some money by working as a freelance web developer? There are so many things that we want to do when we are getting into this web development journey. But how? What will be the roadmap? What path to choose? What to learn? How to make money by learning this web development and building websites for others? So these all questions and confusions of yours will be answered in this video by providing you an entire roadmap for web development. Even if you don't have any coding experience, even if you don't know anything, instead of me explaining the entire roadmap to you, I have our Siddharth Taneja sir, who is kind of ultra pro max legend in web development. But why? Just look at his LinkedIn profile and the experiences that he have as a web developer. It will blow your mind. So let's quickly switch our camera to Siddharth Taneja sir. Hello sir. Uh, so there is a lot of request from our viewers regarding web development roadmap. So as a beginner, there will be a lot of resources and there are a lot of things where a student can get diverted yeah. if they start their journey into web development. Right. So I wanted you to give them an entire roadmap of web development. But before getting into the roadmap, I wanted you to tell them what is exactly web development. Web development constitutes of all the parts of a website which are front-end, back-end, databases, cloud and the UX of it. The front-end would be constituting of HTML, CSS, JavaScript or the frameworks and libraries like React, Angular, Vue.js. The back-end has multiple languages like Java, Node.js, Python and multiple more. In the database front, you could have a SQL database or a NoSQL database and you would want to host all of this on places like AWS, Azure, GCP. There are multiple tools available online which could help you do the hosting part much easily and then you can think of the user experience of your end user based on the website that you are making. This constitutes of web development. Now by this they would have understood okay this is web development, yes. it involves these many things. And what will be the opportunities that are available for them in web development? Right. The opportunities are multifold. You could probably get a job in the web development domain as a front-end developer, as a back-end developer, database developer, or a DevOps engineer, or a full stack as well, if you know all of these properly. Next, you could act as a freelancer. You could master these technologies and multiple websites provide you with a way to freelance. You could do freelancing and earn a lot of money with that. Or you could make websites for people who you know or you could start up things. So some students at Scalar School of Technology have been building websites for their homegrown businesses. A girl over here is building a website for selling cookies which, their, which her mom makes. One student whose parents are doctors is making a hospital management system for them. So there are multiple areas of opportunities where you can get into with web development. Okay sir, so now there are some several opportunities for web developer. And now, as a beginner, how a beginner can get started with web development? As there are so many things which I mentioned, right? what would be the beginner's journey? As a beginner, you should pick one of the streams like front-end development or back-end or database and master those. In front-end, you could learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript, which is good enough for you to make a front-end of a website. But I would suggest with the changing markets and the technology enhancement in front-end, you could pick one of the framework or libraries like React, Angular or Vue.js. Then you should pick one language in backend, probably like Java or Node.js. Most developers, what they do is they would go after all of them and not learning any. I would suggest pick one and master that. And in databases, you could pick SQL or NoSQL, one of them and learn technologies in this order. Okay, sir. So whatever you have mentioned as a beginner, when I started my journey in web development, I didn't have this much of knowledge. Yes. I, I was just learning HTML, CSS and I was like, oh, now I'm a web developer. I designed some landing page. Right. Uh, so this was my stage. Yes. Now, okay, these many things are there. Okay, front end, there are after HTML, CSS, there is framework. Yeah. And in also back end, there are frameworks. Correct. And also there is a database part also. Correct. I didn't have this knowledge. So Correct. that's why I used to go and search for some freelance works. Correct. Uh, but I didn't able to get any. Correct. So I'm also thinking it would be the same situation for them also. Yes. So now for getting any internship or getting any freelance project or okay, uh, if they want to tell themselves, okay, I am a web developer now to build a strong portfolio, what have to be learned by them, whatever you have mentioned until now, right. what are the exact things they have to do? Right. What I would suggest is, as I suggested in the beginning, you pick one of the fields. You pick either front end, back end or databases or if you want, you could become a DevOps engineer as well. You could land a job in any of the organizations being a front end developer. Learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript in detail. 
you would be able to crack those interviews. Then you learn the frameworks like React, Angular, Vue.js and that should suffice for you to land a job and to call yourself a front-end developer. Similarly, do those things in the backend. Learn the absolute basics of backend. Like how do you design the schema? How do you make an API? What are the different APIs that are required for you to make in a backend? What are the types of requests that a server would cater to? What are the responses a server would go would do? Learn those. After that, you would need to store the data in the database. So pick the databases of your choice, like a NoSQL database or a SQL database based on your use case. And you would be able to land a job or an internship in any of these fields that I mentioned. So if I recall my journey, sir, I used to stuck in tutorial hell. So there were a lot of tutorials available online. I didn't able to practice much, yes. not able to get some confidence. So how would a student pick some projects, do them and how would he or she get rid of the tutorial? Yes. Most commonly the mistake that everyone does is that they start with a tutorial, watch the whole tutorial and then think that I'll start with development. Don't do that. Probably the best place is to pick a project, start learning the concepts by building things in those projects. You could pick a project from everything that you see every day. Pick a website like an e-commerce website or a chat application that you see online or a movie management system where you will be booking your tickets. Pick those, see what are the APIs that would be needed, how is the front end of this build. Build those with the technology that you are learning day by day, step by step and you would be able to master the concepts. If you learn the concepts theoretically, you would obviously forget it the next day. Instead, do it in a practical implementation with a project of your choice and you would be able to master them. After you are done this, if you want to put a good project on your resume, what I would suggest is that you could pick a good idea and then build on top of it. Like recently, there is this Gen AI boom that is coming. You could probably make a website like where you download a video and summarize the video using AI and then publish that online so that you do not need to watch the whole video again and again. You can just see the summary of that video. That would be a great place to start. You could go to product hunt and see the different ideas that are there available online and learn from that and make your own startup, make your own project based on the learnings of web development. That is the best place to learn and how to learn. Okay, sir. When we start practicing anything, when we start building some things, there are so many errors that come. Yeah. There are like module not found errors. So, so many errors yes. that will be coming yeah, definitely. while practicing or doing this project. Sir. Uh, that would really Used to close the project mostly. Yeah. Correct. Right. So, what is the solution that you would give to them as a beginner? What should So, what I'll suggest is that in the previous times, you used to have Stack Overflow. You could Google the exact error and you'll find the answer to it on Stack Overflow. Pick the best answer and solve the problem. Now, with your chat GPT, Gemini and all of these AI tools that are available online, you can ask the tools like these to tell you what is the error in your code, how can you fix it, what is the code that you need to fix using that, you will learn better, you would be able to do things better and with the changing technology, you will be becoming a great developer with AI. Correct. So as you have mentioned about AI, so there are a lot of questions which I am also getting like Will AI replace these web development jobs? Right. So what will be the role of AI in this web development? Will it really replace it or there will be any future for the web developers or not? Right. So what is your opinion on this? My opinion is that AI is not going to replace you. What you need to do is you need to be smart with AI. You need to learn how to use AI, how to become efficient in writing code. Ask AI to do the redundant things for you. Most developers that I see nowadays, what mistake they do is they will ask AI for the answer and never learn that concept. Don't do that. Learn the concept and make AI do the redundant things for you instead of using AI to do the whole thing. Become a developer who is smart and who is able to use AI to their advantage. And then AI would not be able to replace you. Correct. So I also remember when I did my project, that was also a full stack project. Yeah. So I started it in my first year. So because of it was taking a lot of time, there are same errors, bugs and everything. I was not able to complete that in my first year of my engineering and I left it. Yeah. So when ChatGPT came and then I was at my third year of my engineering. Yeah. So at that point of time, I realized, okay, uh, so I have my project. So I can use ChatGPT. I can build some template of the website. Okay. Right. I don't need to code entirely. Right. But with the help of AI, what I did is, okay, I know the logic, what has to be applied there, or how the logic should be working Correct. in my project. So I used, utilized ChatGPT, did 70% of the work and rest of the work have been done by me. So, so yes, AI is going to help the pace at what so we are developing or making the projects. Yes. Yes, that is what also helped me in my internship also. Yes. Because of this AI, I would able to do 3x productivity Correct. with the help of these things. So yes. yes. The answer to this is AI 
won't be replacing right. but instead if a person knows ai he could be able to work at 3x productivity correct, correct, correct. okay this is about ai and everything there are also some many websites yeah. no code websites so what is your opinion on this because as a developer if there are already no code websites yeah. where the website is uh, being provided ready made so what is the role of web, uh, web developers required here yes. no code websites have existed for the longest period of time i have multiple friends who have started up with no code websites but as a developer if you are going to be a web developer you don't do things using a no code website you would learn things from the basics learn html css javascript and build things on top of it no code websites are good for who is starting up and does not know development but not for you you should pick one of the frameworks you should pick front end back end and the cloud infrastructure and then build your websites that is what i would suggest okay so and now what are the career options that are there for a web developer who yeah. is getting started in web development so if they will be having goals like uh, getting into some top product based companies or any other thing yeah. there are different career paths that open with you learning web development you could get a job in man companies companies where are high growing startups you could get jobs in mncs i have personally switched multiple jobs with the web development knowledge that i had plus the dsa knowledge over the period of time so web development would help you get jobs into multiple organizations okay sir so now many of the students or viewers would have the doubt like how much time it would take for them to become a good developer so what is your opinion on this see i'll tell you honestly you never become the best developer you have to practice over the period of time 3 to 6 months is a time frame that i would recommend for you to learn these technologies master them but after even 10 years of experience i am still learning you have to learn every day there are new technologies that come out every day and you have to enhance your knowledge but to become a beginner developer i would suggest 3 to 6 months is a good enough period of time if you guys also need any entire road map or if you have any doubts and everything please do comment in the comment section we will be making a video on it and finally what is the do's and don'ts that you would like to give to our viewers right the do's would be practice hard make your projects practice for your internships or jobs that you are looking to get into pick one field and master them the don'ts would be don't go after everything that you hear don't start running after from one technology to other instead stick to one and become a master at it okay sir that was great and uh, thank you so much thank you. for this roadmap thank you